Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hold up, this is not a lipstick swatch video, so don't get too excited yet, but it's still a good one. Today I'm going to be talking about how I take care of my dry skin using the Duval Spin Care Radiance System. I'm very excited to show you guys this facial brush as well as the interchangeable spin brushes that come along with it. I'm a huge fan of using facial brushes and cleaners for my face and I want you guys to see what I've been doing and how it has continued to give me radiant glowing skin. So if you wanna see that, then stay tuned. So the Duval Radiant Spin Care System, it comes with the handheld unit as well as four interchangeable brushes. So as far as the unit, what's nice about it is that it has this rubber grip right at the center, which really helps you to get that firm grip while you're in the shower or you're just sitting down watching TV and so that it doesn't slip out of your hands very easily. It's battery operated so it works with four AA batteries and how you put the batteries in is right here at the bottom. So what you want to do is take this off like so and then you can put your batteries in and it gives you the label of how you should position your batteries. So once you have your batteries in like so, then you can pop the bottom part back on like so, and now your batteries are in. So as far as the brushes, it comes with a cleaning brush, which is this one right here. What the cleaning brush does is that it you know, gently removes any excess dirt, makeup, gunk that's on your face from a long day. And you do want to make sure that you clean your face first before you exfoliate, which brings us to our little exfoliating brush right here. And this one is made up of more softer bristles compared to the cleaning brush because it's it's designed to, to exfoliate but in a gentle manner. Next up, we have the largest brush here, which is your body brush. And uh, this is what you want to use on your arms as well as your legs. And last but not least, we have a pumice stone. So clearly this is what you want to use on your elbows, your knees, on your heels. That's what your little pumice stone is for. All right, so what I want to show you is how to actually attach the brush. So we'll get our cleaning brush here. You want to attach it right there like so. You'll hear the snap. And then it has the off button and the on button right here. So if you press your on button right here, So now I just want to do a demonstration of the different brushes and their spin cycles so that you guys can see how gentle they actually are. So I'm going to start with the cleaning brush. So make sure you snap it on. We'll turn it on in here. So in this way you can easily see how effective this brush would be at removing all that stuff from off your face. So we'll go ahead and turn this off. Pop this off like so. And then we can do our exfoliating brush. And this exfoliating brush is made of softer bristles. And you can see it's a little bit more gentle than the cleaning brush because you want to make sure that it's suitable for those of us who have sensitive skin and we don't want to overdo it. We never want to over exfoliate our skin so this is gentle enough for those who have like super sensitive skin. And then we'll pop it off like so. And then next up we have our body brush. So I'll go ahead and pop that on. Make sure it snaps. And then, ooh, look at that. 
So clearly this can definitely get your arms and your legs and just remove all that dead skin cells. This is my favorite part. And of course I don't get to do this all the time, but when I do use this body brush, this is exactly like what it feels like. And I love using this body brush. And as you can see, it's large enough to cover a lot of real estate while you're cleaning your body. So pop this off. And lastly, we have our pumice stone. I don't really have to do a demonstration of this, but I wanted you guys to see, let's move this up a little, how gentle this pumice stone brush actually is. Because one thing with pumice stones, sometimes we can apply too much pressure and then we end up damaging our skin or hurting ourselves because we are applying too much pressure. But as you can see, the water is barely rippling here because this pumice stone is so gentle. And this is something that I typically do once a month, especially now that we're locked inside the house. A lot of us have to learn to do a lot of things. Like, you know, we have to learn to do our own facial, learn to paint our own nails, and learn to do our own feet. So. This definitely comes in handy for me especially because I get anxiety about even going for a facial or going to get my nails done. So I just end up doing everything myself. So what I'm going to do next is take my makeup off. So uh, we're just going to jump into the other section from here. So now that I've demonstrated the different spin cycles of these brushes, I am going to demonstrate how I take my makeup off. And just so you know, I have extremely dry skin. I wear very minimal makeup due to that reason. So typically what I do when it comes to cleaning my dry face, I start with a makeup wipe just to remove some of the makeup before I go in with a brush. And I try not to tug at my skin while I do this. So because, you know, the brush is going to remove everything else. So I just kind of pat it onto my skin and that does remove makeup. So you don't have to like rub and tug at your skin. I typically like to get my eyebrows and just kind of pat it until the makeup comes off. I love exfoliating brushes because it controls the pressure that I use on my face. And I think that's very important. Sometimes we can be a little bit heavy handed. We may not want to admit it, but we are. I know I can be a lot of the times. And that was before I got into exfoliating brushes. And then I am going to go in with the cleaning brush. I have that same bowl that I was using. I just emptied some of the water and I'm just going to put that in there just to get it a little wet and I will start. So you want to make sure that you go in circular motions, get around, you know, those creases near your nose. I usually just go around my lips with this too because the brushes are soft and gentle enough. Make sure you get that chin. So the circular motion really does help to get all that excess oil, dirt, makeup, salt from the sweat from your skin. So. All that sort of build up, it helps to remove. If only it removed bad credit too, that would have been awesome. Or student loan debt, you know what I'm saying? Get that eyebrow too, it's like I go all in. And look at all that gunk. See that? Now we are going to put on our exfoliated brush. So this is where the magic actually happens. I am going to use my favorite cleaner. This is from Good Molecules and it's their Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel. 
I love this stuff. It's so gentle. Like I've been saying, I'm all about the gentle stuff because my skin is so dry. It, I, I would say it makes my skin a little bit more delicate or, you know, sensitive. So I stick to very simple ingredients that's not going to inflame my already dry skin. So what I'm going to do is do a pump of that on there. Maybe I'm pumping a little bit more. The brush is a little bit wet already. So I'm just going to start exfoliating. And what I like about this as well is... It's just so gentle. It's even gentle enough for my lips. Like, that's seriously what I do. Okay, so that's that. Then make sure you get a clean towel. That's important to just pat your face. My face feels cleaned but not stripped and that's very important to me. It's also good to keep in mind that while you're exfoliating your face, you do not want to do it for longer than I would say a minute. That can contribute to your dryness. So just be cognizant of how much time you're spending exfoliating your face because you can end up in deeper problems if you're exfoliating for too long. So after all the cleaning, what I want to do is apply a discoloration correcting serum and this is supposed to be applied before moisturizers that's why I put it on and this is also from good molecules I only have a little bit of this stuff left oh my gosh I think it's done I was supposed to order some more the bottle is practically empty but I only use a little bit because as I continue to learn my skin, I've found out that less is more for me. I really do not pack on the products as I used to. I'm much more aware now of my skin and how it performs. So like I said, less is more for me. So I just stick to two or three products to use for my nighttime routine. And that seems to be working fine. Then I want to apply my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream and this is for extra dry skin. So I just take about that much, rub it in my hands and pat it into my skin. A little bit goes a long way. I really do not use unnecessary or excess product on my face anymore. I used to think that, oh my gosh, if I put like layers and shovels of product and that's really not healthy. So, you know, you live and you learn. So after my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Facial Moisturizer, I am going to apply this Ultra Hydrating Facial Oil and this is also from Good Molecules. So I usually use one or two drops, put that in my hands again, and just press into my skin. So guess what? If you're interested in trying out this amazing spin care, they are having 70% off and I have a discount code. Did you hear me? I have a discount code for 70% off. All you have to do is click on the link in the description and you'll enter the code P-U-B-A-B-E for 70% off this spin care system. It's a good deal. It's up to you if you want to take it. I did my part. If you want to try it out, everything is in the description box. So go ahead and sleep on it if you want to, but don't sleep for too long because that's one hot deal. But that's all I got for you guys. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so that you are made aware of every time I post a video. I want to thank all you guys for subscribing. It does help my channel and it does help me to continue to provide more content like this for you guys. But for now, I will say good night.
good evening wherever you are good morning and um i will catch you in my next video bye